Welcome to a lesson on geometry that will focus on translations, reflections, rotations, and dilations using matrices. This lesson is brought to you by apex-math.com. In order to begin, we first need to review a couple of points. We need to be able to take coordinates off of the coordinate plane system and write that as a matrix. If you can see here, we have a quadrilateral with points negative 4, negative 3, negative 1, 0, 1, negative 3, and negative 3, 5. The first value in each of the pair is the x values, so those are the values that get, writ get written on top of the matrix on the first row. The second row becomes the y values 3, 0, negative 3, and negative 5. The next thing we want to look at here is just to review what the identity matrix looks like. The identity matrix, we're going to just work with 2 by 2 matrices here. It has a 1 in the first place, then a 0, then a 0, and another 1 diagonal from the first. We'll be coming back to that shortly. The first topic is translations, and a translation is simply a slide. It just slides your figure around the coordinate plane, moving it up and down and left and right. So an example would be to take our matrix here, our quadrilateral, and move it or slide it so that it would go four units to the right and one unit down. So we have our original matrix here from the four points and remember that the top row deals with the x-coordinates and the x-coordinate deals with moving right and left so if we want to go right four that would be a positive four so we want to add four to each of these values of the top row the x-coordinates so we simply do negative four plus four gives us zero negative 2 plus 4 gives us 2 and so forth. The bottom row is our y coordinates and in that case what we want to do is move down 1. So up would be positive, down would be negative, therefore in this case we want to subtract 1 from each of the y coordinates. So negative 3 minus 1 becomes negative 4. 0 minus 1 becomes negative 1 and our resulting matrix is this one here. And remember these are just x, y coordinates, so I could replot these back onto a graph at 0, negative 4, 2, negative 1, 5, negative 4, 1, negative 6, connect the dots, and I would have the translation of my quadrilateral um, having moved to the right four units and down one unit. The second topic is dilations. Dilations just make objects bigger or smaller. If the number that you're using for your dilation is bigger than one, then the object will increase in size. If it is less than one, it will get smaller in size. For a dilation, all you have to do is multiply the matrix that you had, in this case our quadrilateral, by the value you want to dilate it by. So in this case, I would multiply 3 by my quadrilateral um, uh, matrix here. So you can see I have 3 times the quadrilateral and when you multiply just by a scalar number you simply multiply that 3 through each term here. So 3 times negative 4 equals negative 12, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, 3 times 1 is 3, so forth, for the top row and the bottom row. Okay, so those are the translations and the dilations. The ones that are slightly harder um, require us to look at these matrices. Remember the identity matrix I put up here again just to remind us what it looks like. It has a 1, then a 0, and then a 0, and a 1. Let's take a look at matrix 1 and talk about how this matrix is similar and how it is different from the identity matrix. We can see